took three images uh, like this first one uh, where I have the focus on the front strawberries the second one here I have the focus on the glass and the third one I have the focus of the strawberry in the back uh, now I want to combine these three images to one so I just uh, select all of them uh, right click and uh, edit in and open as layers in Photoshop and this will take some time uh, to open it Com well it depends on the uh, computer you have of course like that now they have opened as separate layers in Photoshop and I have the uh, main layer on top where I have the glass in focus now I want to have these strawberries in focus also so I add a layer mask to this top layer like that and then I paint uh, with a brush uh, and use black as a front color uh, and just paint on the layer mask to reveal the focused strawberries that's on the layer underneath. Let's turn this into a 100% view and as you see now the strawberries are unfocused but I use a brush to reveal the focused strawberries underneath the top layer like this and well this can be called focus stacking uh, because I use several uh, images with different focus points and you can achieve this with other uh, software helps like uh, filters and uh, things like that but well I like it like this way I, I think I have a more more control uh, over the process and it's not so hard it's it's fairly easy uh, like that uh, now the strawberries in the back are in focus as well as the glass uh, but still these uh, strawberries here in front are uh, out of focus so I will combine uh, the two top layers and put them into a, a group I just uh, name that sharp like that and on that group I add a layer mask and uh, as before I paint on the layer mask with black and now it's the strawberries here in front that I want to uh, put in focus uh, and I do that because this layer here they are in focus so I, if I turn off this one you see the difference it's quite a big one like that turn the image into 100% so you can see a little better and go down to, to the strawberries here and I use the opacity of 80 uh, for uh, the brush it don't often it varies uh, what opacity you want to use like this it 
turn the brush into a little smaller size if it's not getting so much noticed uh, like this Also there. Like that. I zoom out. Now I have the uh, three focus points uh, in focus in the same image. I have the, that we can call the hero for the shot, the glass. That's in focus. I have the strawberries in the back, in the bowl in focus, and I have the strawberries in front here on the cutting board in focus. I will now combine these two layers into one, and I do this uh, usually by pressing four keys. It's Shift, Alt, Command, and E. And then you get a new layer with all uh, the layers that ha you have been using before. So you, you merge visible layers. So now you can continue to work on that one and leave the other ones untouched. Uh, I have something that I wanted to change to this image as well. I think that the <coughs> The strawberry in the glasses are a little bit, uh, well, it's not enough red in it. So I uh, just take a copy of the uh, layer and go up in image and adjustment. And I think I use levels on this one and make it a bit darker. Well, like that and once more I use uh, layer mask but now I before I just click here I hold down the alt uh, key and that way uh, the changes that you made to that layer are not visible it's like you haven't done them but if you then paint with white on this black layer mask you reveal the changes of the image. I just show you what I mean. Uh, I use a uh, uh, brush tool and I use uh, uh, white instead of black because well the layer mask is black and uh, I paint away. You see that the darker glasses that was on this changed layer are revealed on just where I paint like that just zoom in a bit and I also do that on the back glass this like that well it's a little bit more saturated or darker but well it looks like it's uh, saturated now uh, and you see uh, a little bit more red uh, in the strawberry drinks. Just use this uh, Shift Alt Command E again to merge the visible layers. And now I want to add uh, sharpness to the image. There are several different ways you can do this, and uh, if you just click there and uh, turn 
brown the action uh, you have these dialog boxes that uh, you just could read and go through and press OK and uh, things like that. But I wanted to show you a different way to make the image sharp uh, if you don't want to download it. Uh, I usually do this. Uh, I have a copy of this layer. Go on to filter and uh, go down to other and use uh, high pass and in this high pass now you see all this image in grey instead and you see where the sharpness will uh, take place you see the strawberry and you see the uh, structure of the strawberries a little bit more if you change this and go up you will notice the difference uh, this will be even more sharp uh, than a lower number but I think that will be too much so I go down again and uh, well Yes, for sake, it's uh, we use uh, four and press OK. Uh, then uh, this layer we turn use uh, it as overlay. And if you this is on, that's before. We just zoom in one hundred percent. That's before and after uh, this mask, turn it on, and you see the difference. It's quite more uh, focused, but I want I don't want to, the whole image to have this effect. So as before, uh, with the layer mask, I will uh, put a layer mask on it, but press all before and press the layer mask so I get a black one like that and the sharpness is not there anymore but I will reveal it by painting uh, with the brush and uh, using the white uh, color now I will paint here on the glass that up there too and on the back glass also and I go on to the strawberries in the back like that and also on the strawberries in front if these are the three elements that I really want to be in focus like that there there you have it uh, the three elements are in focus I've merged the visible layers into uh, one because now I have to finish uh, the image and I th see uh, things that I don't like just now I have a... I don't know what it is it's a... it's a... hair or something like that on that one I use the spot removal and I just make it small enough and I paint on it like that Let's see if it's 
goes away, yes. that make the brush or size of it even smaller. If you go too close to the edge like this you see that it it well it's not so good. It blurs the edge of it um, and then you usually use the clone tool instead. I make it small enough, take a sample of the surface that you want and then paint there instead, like that. I also want to remove these little white things. Like that. Now it's gone. Great. Uh, on the image that I posted before, I uh, added a um, texture. I want to do do that now also. So I just uh, file open, and then I see if I can find that texture that I used before. Well, it's in memory, so there's no problem in that. And just show you have several different textures here and I think let's see if I can uh, choose a different one now maybe I think I use this one open that one uh, and usually uh, if you just use this one uh, you get uh, also the uh, yellow tone uh, that comes from this image but usually I just uh, desaturate that one so it's in black and white instead I take that uh, image uh, that layer and uh, drag it into the one that I am working on And if you uh, press down the shift key when you drag a uh, image or a layer from a different file into another one, you center it. So uh, it can be uh, hard to uh, find if it's a small uh, file uh, and maybe it uh, comes off uh, the other image. So if you press shift, drag the image, release it, it's always centered. Uh, now I want to take that one and uh, make it uh, all over the image uh, like this and transform it to right size like that. Yes, press enter. And the layer uh, is in normal, but I want it to be, well, uh, one overlay or a soft image. Uh, soft light, sorry, soft light. Uh, overlay, you see, uh, the texture has come onto the image. If I uh, turn the visibility off, that's... Uh, image without uh, this layer and that's the image with it. Uh, it might be a little too much uh, then it's just to uh, turn the opacity down or maybe go to 60 on this and you still see the layer here on this cutting board but then I wa don't want uh, the layer to um, interact with the glass and uh, well maybe not the strawberries here so I put on a layer mask 
and I paint with black and uh, zoom it in 100% like that and use the opacity of this brush for 100% because I don't want it to be visible at all on the glass like that and also on this back glass I think I will remove it And then we have the strawberries in the back. You see this that it's uh, the uh, texture has well, it almost looks like it's a fingerprint. But uh, on the strawberries, I will remove it. And well. Uh, I really don't like it on this white here as well, but I, I turn opacity down to, instead of 100% I turn it down to 70. And then I paint on it and I will leave a little bit of it on this white. Take it away here also. like that uh, well I think it's pretty much done I just uh, close the uh, file if I press here usually it 
comes up if you want to save the image. I want to do that. Like that. I want to save the image. Yes. And this will save the image back into Lightroom because I have uh, a small thing left to do in the image before I use the image on internet. And that's uh, adding uh, my name and the website and uh, the frame uh, of the image. I just show you. I usually want to do that on a copy of the image. And here the image is back into Lightroom. And uh, as I said, I just wanted to do uh, the last thing. I open it once more into Photoshop. Uh, and if you press Command E, uh, you get this uh, dialog box. And I want to edit a copy of it. And this is to make uh, the uh, file size a little bit smaller because uh, the previous image has uh, several e several layers and uh, that uh, file will get larger than this one. So uh, the only thing I do here is uh, go up to file and then the script and this script is also a free script that you can download. It's foot border 1.0 and that one, well, it adds a border of the image and uh, then you can add text in the border. I usually uh, have this text my name and uh, slash uh, my site. And it's fully ad automated. Uh, you just in the script, you, s you put the text that you want and the size and the position of the text. It's a little bit tricky to get it right but uh, after several times uh, you get it right. It's no big deal. Uh, so the here I have uh, down here the name and the site uh, address. And that's more or less finished. I uh, say that one and this one will also get into Lightroom. And it's a little bit faster now than before because not so heavy uh, file size. And here it is in Lightroom. I usually now just uh, go and export the file. And uh, the size of the image uh, that I export is uh, always uh, 1600 pixels uh, on the longest side and 72 uh, pixels per inch. And then just export it and it automatically uh, goes onto the desktop and uh, from there I uh, add it onto the web where I want it. I hope this video was educational for you uh, and uh, maybe some new things uh, in Photoshop that you usually don't do maybe you will add it to your images maybe not but this is how this image came about thanks bye